First of all, Moon has a question, and this question is regarding the extended warranty. So you buy a car, BMW or Mercedes gives you three years warranty. They say you pay us like so-and-so um, every month or every year, and we extend it to five years to 10 years warranty. What's the ruling on that? The ruling is it's haram. This is gambling. It's like insurance. Sheikh, why? Because they're giving us the first three years free. Oh, yes, this is from them. This is a gift from them. And it's included in the price, the original price of the car. So it's not something that you choose. You cannot say, how much is this car? And they tell you it's 100,000 euros. You say, okay, I don't want the warranty for three years. Take it off. I'm, I just want to take the car without the warranty. They wouldn't give it to you. This is within the car itself price. So they're offering it out without you asking. And this is permissible, the three years, the one year, the whatever. In her case, the one year for the laptop. Now, if you pay an extra X, Y, Z money uh, for in return to a, a year or two or more uh, of warranty, this becomes haram. Why? Because you may pay 500 rials for a year warranty and the whole year finishes and nothing happens to your laptop. Your 500 is down the drain. And maybe something happens to your laptop and they have to change the motherboard, the screen and the processors and the RAMs and etc. And it costs like 8,000 8, or 10,000 reals. That's wow, what, what a bargain. So it's like a lottery ticket. You buy one for a euro, you may get uh, uh, 500 million uh, euros or whatever and you may lose your euro. What the heck? No, this is haram and it's not permissible. Uh, Brother Saeed from Saudi, he said, what's